So keto fudge three ways is what we're doing today. We're gonna to be making some keto chocolate fudge, keto peanut butter fudge, and keto white chocolate macadamia nut fudge in today's video. And I don't know about you, but the holiday season is fudge season with my family. So I thought I'd show you some quick and easy ways how to make it low carb and completely keto friendly. And I'm sure you're wondering how quick and easy are we talking? Well, you'll need less than five ingredients and less than 15 minutes to make all three of these keto fudge recipes. That's how easy we're talking. So that's it, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into the good stuff, make some low carb keto fudge. All right, so first things first, we're going to get out a large measuring cup. Then we're gonna cube up 112 grams or a stick of salted butter and add that to our cup. Now, once we've taken care of that, we're gonna get out our chocolate and for today's keto fudge recipe, we'll be using these zero net carb semi-sweetened Lily's chocolate chips. Having said that, we'll be using a heaping one and a quarter cups or 224 grams of them. So once we've got those in our bowl, we can get our cup in the microwave and melt our ingredients together for about 30 seconds. Then when we've done that, we're gonna mix our ingredients together with a spatula and uh, things are probably not gonna be completely liquidy at this point. So we're gonna pop our cup back in the microwave for another 15 to 30 seconds. Now, when we get our bowl out of the microwave for a second time, we're gonna mix our sauce up again with our spatula. And at this point, we should have a liquidy chocolate sauce going on like this. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is sweeten up our keto chocolate fudge a little bit more by using some of this stuff, some confectioner swerf. And for this keto fudge, we'll be sifting three tablespoons or 27 grams of it through a wire strainer. And we're doing this, the sifting that is, so that the sweetener combines effortlessly into the sauce. Now, once we've done that, we're gonna add some more cocoa flavor to the fudge. And to do that, we're gonna sift in a tablespoon or five grams of unsweetened cocoa powder into the sauce as well. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Now we're gonna mix those ingredients until they're well combined. Then when they are, we're gonna get out a small bread pan and add a little bit of water to it so that the parchment paper we're adding stays in place a little easier. Now, when we've got that in place, we can trim off some of the excess paper that's sticking out from the sides of the pan, and then we can start pouring in the sauce version of our keto fudge. Then, when we've got all of that in there, we're gonna spread it out evenly with our spatula. So, that's looking pretty good. Now let's get that into the fridge for at least an hour so it has a chance to set, or if you're impatient, you wanna get it into the freezer for at least 30 minutes. That said, once the chocolate fudge has set, we wanna get it out onto a cutting board and use a very sharp knife to cut it into 21 small cubish shaped pieces. Having said that, they should end up looking something like this. And as you're seeing here, I like to add some coarse flaky salt to the top of my keto chocolate fudge for some added flavor and deliciousness. Oh, and if you're wondering what the consistency of this chocolate keto fudge is when you bite into it, this is what you can expect. Some rich, chocolatey, melt in your mouth deliciousness. All right, so now we're gonna make our keto peanut butter fudge. And as you're seeing here, the first thing we're gonna do is add just less than a half a cup or 80 grams of refined coconut oil to a large measuring cup. Now, the reason we're using refined coconut oil is because it doesn't taste like coconut at all. Whereas if you use unrefined coconut oil, you will taste the coconut in your keto peanut butter fudge. Anyway, once we've added that, we're gonna add some natural, no sugar added creamy peanut butter. And for this keto fudge recipe, wanna add a cup or 256 grams of it to our bowl. Then when we take care of that, we're gonna sweeten up the fudge by adding some zero carb keto maple syrup. And for today's keto peanut butter fudge recipe, we're gonna add a quarter cup or 60 grams of it to our bowl. Okay, so now that we've got that in there, 
we're going to melt our ingredients together in our microwave for just about 30 seconds. Then when they're done in there, we're going to use our spatula to mix them together until they're well combined. And again, just like with our keto chocolate fudge recipe, we want to melt our peanut butter fudge a second time for 15 to 30 seconds in the microwave as well. Then when that's all set, we'll want to mix all that peanut butter deliciousness up again until we get a consistency that looks something like this. Now, at this point, we're ready to get our small bread pan out and prep it just as we did before. And then when our bread pan is ready, we can pour our liquid keto peanut butter fudge into the pan. And again, just like we did last time, we're going to use a spatula to evenly distribute the fudge in there. So after we've done that, we are all set to get our fudge in the freezer for about an hour so it has a chance to set. Then when it has, we can get it on a cutting board, get out a sharp knife and cut our keto peanut butter fudge into 21 pieces just like we did with our chocolate fudge. And as far as what this keto fudge ends up looking like, it looks like this. Pretty incredible, right? Okay, so moving on, we are going to make the white chocolate macadamia nut keto fudge recipe. And as you're seeing here, this recipe starts with us prepping a half a cup or 60 grams of macadamia nuts. So once we've added those to a small Ziploc bag, we'll want to crush them up into tiny pieces. And honestly, the bottom of the measuring cup that we've been using to make all of our keto fudge recipes at this point will work perfectly to do this. Now, when we've got those looking how we want them, we're going to set them aside and start cubing up some salted butter. And just like the first low carb fudge recipe we did, we want to use a stick or 112 grams of it. Now, when we've added the butter to the bowl, we're going to add some of these keto friendly white chocolate chips as well. And for this recipe, we're going to add a heaping one and a quarter cups or 224 grams of them. So after we've got those in there, let's give them a quick 30 second melt in our microwave and then mix them together with a spatula until combined. Of course, they're not going to completely combine at this point with this first attempt. So we'll want to melt them together again in another 15 second interval and then give them another mix. This is also the time we'll want to add two tablespoons or 30 grams of some heavy cream to our fudge as well. And then when we've added that, we'll of course want to mix it into our other ingredients as best we can. And then we can give it one last 30 second melt job in our microwave. Then when that's taken care of, We'll of course want to mix everything in our bowl until we've got a thick liquidy syrup like consistency going on in there like this. Also, at this point, we're going to add and mix about three quarters of our crushed macadamia nuts from earlier into our sauce as well. So just like we've done with our previous keto fudge recipes, we we'll want to prep our small bread pan with some parchment paper and then add our fudge to it. However, this time we're going to add a nut topping to the top of our keto fudge with those remaining macadamia nuts that we have left over. Then when we've added those, we can refrigerate our fudge for around an hour or to speed up the process about a half an hour in our freezer. And then once the fudge sets, we're going to place it on a cutting board and then use a sharp knife to again cut it into 21 pieces. And then once we've done that, we're going to end up with some incredibly rich and tasty white chocolate macadamia nut keto fudge like this. As always, for more info on today's keto fudge recipes, check out the video description below and I hope you enjoy them.